I'm really excited about the NGP, um, just with it being really the next generation of handheld device and really the amount of new features that it's got on it. We've got all the traditional PlayStation buttons, we have front touch, we have back touch, we have two cameras, we have three motion sensors, we have a microphone. I think the back and front camera is going to be really interesting. I think there's a lot of cool stuff you could do with it, um, particularly when it comes to augmented reality. Actually, you're looking at the screen. You can see through the screen into the real world and you can move around and then we can lay the augmented reality on top of that. So you could scan in your face, put yourself into a game. And with games like Reality Fighter, that's exactly what we're doing. It's a lot of fun scanning in your friend and then beating the hell out of them. Rear Touch is really interesting because it isn't something what we've been able to play with before. Nobody's ever had it. And the great thing about Rear Touch is it means that you can still use touch without having your fingers in the way. The Rear Touch does catch the eye because it's new and innovative, but we can't forget the twin sticks for the first time on a portable device. You finally feel like you've you actually got these miniaturized sticks that really work in your hands and you can play all, all the first person shooter games, all the gallery shooter games exactly as they were meant to be played. The screen on the PSP was good, it was great, but the screen on the NGP just blows it away. When you make that step up from like standard def to high def, you kind of just got that same magic again, but on a handheld device. We look at the connectivity of the device. Um, I think that will help broaden the audience, make it a very relevant device for people. And when you uh, layer on top of that some of the bespoke applications, such as Live Area, it really will make it a uniquely connected device for a large array of all games. I think Live Area is going to be really cool. It's a place you can go before you boot the game and you'll be able to see what's been going on, how your friends have been scoring, if you're doing well, what's going on with the game. And you'll see posts about the games, maybe what your friends have done in the game. So it really keeps you updated about everything in the game and it's going to be standard across all titles. It's always interesting when you give the new hardware, the new kits to our development teams uh, to see how excited they get. I'm really looking forward to developing an NGP game with Rare Touch. I think just using that solely, you could do some really cool stuff. I work on Little Big Planet, and having extra features is fantastic because it means then that we can make tools so people can then create games using those new features, be it rear touch, front touch, tilt, the online sides of the game. When you think about Little Big Planet, it's the creation that's perhaps one of the most exciting parts. And to have great creation, you need great creation tools. So with the new user interfaces, the creation can become so much more exciting and so much more intuitive. It will make the create feature accessible to me in ways that it just never was before. And I can actually see myself actually completing a level this time rather than starting and giving up. Some of the tech demos I've seen so far lead me to believe that there's um, a lot of promise there and there's going to be a lot of great games coming.